हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन वेलकम बैक टू प्रैक्टिकल ज्योमेट्री क्लास एट नाउ दिस इज द एक्सरसाइज 4.1 पॉइंट वन ऑलरेडी वी हैव लर्न इन लास्ट क्लास हाउ टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए क्वेलेटरल वन ऑल द फोर साइड्स आर गिवेन एंड वन ऑफ द डायगोनल इज गिवेन बट इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए पैरलोग्राम वेर बोथ एडजस्टेंट साइड्स आर गिवेन एंड वन ऑफ द डायगोनल इज गिवेन सो हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इन थर्ड बीट द पैरलोग्राम एम ओ आर ई हियर let us learn uh, let us uh, draw the first uh, uh, rough sketch of this uh, parallelogram more here or equal to 6 cm re equal to 4.5 cm and eo equal to eo that means one of the diagonal is given 7.5 cm now let us discuss here this is a parallelogram in this parallelogram here two adjacent sides are given that means when two adjacent sides are given we know that the property of uh, uh, parallelogram states that both the opposite sides are equal in measure so er equal to mo that is equal to 4.5 cm and or equal to 6 cm that means uh, me equal to also 6 cm that means with the help of the same criteria when all the four sides are given one of the diagonal is given with the help of the same criteria we can construct this parallelogram also now let's construct the parallelogram first we have to take the diagonal diagonal of 7.5 cm so let us take 7.5 cm here name it as e o e this is e point o point e o point now from e point now first we have to take 4.5 cm 4.5 cm from point e we have to this side you take 4.5 cm and from point o this side you have to take if you are taking below side 4.5 cm arc of radius 4.5 cm other side from o point you have to take now you have to take 6 cm six cm taken now from the point e take 6 cm make 6 cm radius arc and from point o take 6 cm arc now you are getting all the four vertices now you have to join the consecutive vertices to get the parallelogram now this is the required parallelogram with the first criteria when this is the special quadrilateral parallelogram is special quadrilateral that's why only two of the sides given and one of the diagonal given because with the help of property we could find the other two sides also now how to construct the rhombus best where be equal to 4.5 cm and et equal to 6 cm here this is the rough sketch and when this is the special quadrilateral rhombus that means all the four sides are equal when one of the side is given that is enough that means all the four sides are 4.5 cm and one of the diagonal is given 6 cm then with the help of criteria 1 when all the four sides are given when one of the diagonal is given we can construct the rhombus now let's construct the rhombus when one of the side is given and one of the diagonal is given so first we have to take the diagonal draw the diagonal of 6 cm take first 6 cm this is 6 cm now this is et
six centimeter and all the four sides are four point five centimeter that means you have to take four point five centimeter it is very easy to construct four point five centimeter and from both the vertices both side you have to take you have to draw the four arc of four point five radius four point five centimeter radius both side from point T also draw and where you are getting the intersecting points those intersecting points are also the vertices two vertices now these are the four vertices now let us join consecutive vertices to get the rhombus So with the help of criteria 1, when 4 sides and 1 of the diagonal is given, then we can construct the rhombus also and parallelogram also and also general quadrilateral when 4 sides and 1 of the diagonal is given. Here this is the 4.5 centimeter because this is a rhombus. In this way we can use the first criteria, criterion to construct the quadrilateral.